SpaceX and Elon Musk are leading all the space races, and recently the company once again asserts its dominant position as its valuation has topped $100 billion, making it even more of a rich rarity in a fast-growing industry. In other words, SpaceX has humiliated the entire rocket industry. Let's find out more in today's episode of Great SpaceX. Elon Musk has repeatedly said that humans must be an interplanetary species to combat the threat of asteroids and potential human catastrophes, such as nuclear war and engineered viruses. He is saving us from both cosmic annihilation as well as ourselves. Musk wrote in a 2008 Esquire piece the ridiculously recalcitrant problem of big, reusable, reliable rockets. Somehow we have to reduce the cost of human spaceflight by a factor of 100. That's why he started SpaceX. By no means did he think victory was certain. On the contrary, he thought the chances of success were tiny, but that the goal was important enough to try anyway. Spacecraft development is a risky, yet booming business, and SpaceX is no stranger to explosions, ruptures, and failed landings. So far, it can be said that no company has tested rockets as many times as SpaceX. They tried countless times, failed a lot, but also succeeded the most. SpaceX's Starship prototype spacecraft is an example of that. In just four months, SpaceX has tested four Starship prototypes. As a result, four tries, four failures. SpaceX's Starship SN8 prototype exploded during a crash landing after a 6 minute 42 second test flight from its Boca Chica, Texas test site on December 9th of 2020. The SN9 prototype also crashed and exploded during landing after a 10 kilometer test launch from the company's South Texas facility near Boca Chica on February 2nd of 2021. The SN10 rocket had a successful liftoff and soft landing at the company's South Texas launch site on March 3rd, 2021, but then exploded as well. On the 30th of March, SpaceX's Starship SN11 lifted off in a thick fog only to meet a similar fate to its three earlier iterations. Despite suffering a series of consecutive failures, the company remains undeterred, continuing to plan for the next test. And in the end, fortune smiled upon them. On May 5th of 2021, SpaceX made a Starship triumph when its SN15 prototype launched and landed safely, and didn't explode afterward. It can be seen that SpaceX's path to success was built on countless failures. Similar to their philosophy, failure is a compulsory step. SpaceX is good at fly, test, fail, fix. The willingness to fail, something that NASA and others have lacked for a very long time, is what enables SpaceX to move so fast, to rapidly iterate and improve. If at first you don't succeed, try, 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 try again. However, that's easier said than done, especially in this money-burning industry. For instance, New Glenn, a heavy lift orbital launch vehicle in development by Blue Origin from 2012, has been planned to start production for a long time, but so far, it has not been released, let alone conducted tests. In February of 2021, Blue Origin delayed the target date for the first launch to no earlier than the fourth quarter of 2022. After all, everything we know about New Glenn is still just a simulation that Blue Origin just announced on Twitter recently. Another similar case is SLS, a super heavy lift expendable launch vehicle under development by NASA since 2011. The first uncrewed flight test of that system is expected to take place before the end of 2021, but it's more than likely it will slip into early 2022 due to development delays. SpaceX has done something that no other company has thought of before, not only leading in the number of tests, but SpaceX is also in the top companies in the figure of rocket launches. SpaceX now handles about two-thirds of NASA's launches, including many research payloads, as SpaceX's most flown rocket, the Falcon 9, has been launched 130 times over 11 years with 128 full mission successes. 
On the 24th of January of 2021, Falcon 9 set a new record for the most satellites launched by a single rocket carrying 143 satellites into orbit. And if you're wondering about future launches, Falcon 9 has a bunch of launch schedules lasting to 2026. Peter Diamandis, a U.S. area entrepreneur, said that by way of efficiency, value, and reliability, it truly is essentially the most profitable rocket ever constructed. On the other hand, SpaceX humiliated the entire rocket industry when its launch costs were unthinkably low. The pioneering rocket launch company founded by Elon Musk famously advertises a launch cost of just $62 million, roughly two-thirds the price of a rocket from United Launch Alliance, a competitor. That's much less than what other U.S. launch companies typically charge, and even the manufacturer of China's low-cost Long March rocket says it can't beat SpaceX's pricing. With the ability to reuse rockets, SpaceX's launch cost is so low that no one can compete with its market. Currently, SpaceX is hoping to bring down the cost of Starship launches down to just $2 million. Interestingly enough, NASA themselves estimate that a single launch of the SLS will cost up to $2 billion, which doesn't even include development costs. A Starship launch will only cost a thousandth of the price of an SLS launch. While Blue Origin and Virgin Galactic are selling tickets to space for hundreds of thousands of dollars, SpaceX is trying to reduce costs to enable more and more people to realize their space ambitions and dreams. On September 15th of 2021, SpaceX's first all-civilian spaceflight was launched. Inspiration4 was the first mission with no professional astronauts on board the Crew Dragon. Instead, the mission was privately funded by billionaire Jared Isaacman, who was accompanied by three other crew members. In a teleconference announcing Inspiration4, Musk said, At first, things are very expensive, and it's only through missions like this that we're able to bring the costs down over time. One day, space tourism is probably no longer a fantasy for everyone. Despite being a relatively young company, SpaceX has a speed of rocket production that surpasses any other company. We did a detailed analysis video of this content before, and if you're interested, go ahead and look in the description below to find that link. Thank you so much. Now let's get back to it. SpaceX is far ahead of all other competitors, even in terms of vision. While Jeff Bezos and Richard Branson are still hovering around the edge of orbit, Elon Musk has long worked towards a grand ambition. His ultimate goal is to establish a colony on Mars, making humans a multi-planetary species. That's why Starship was created. The vehicle is designed as a fully reusable heavy lift rocket that can carry both people and cargo into orbit around the Earth, the Moon, Mars, and beyond. Starship and the Super Heavy Rocket are expected to replace SpaceX's Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy rockets. The company aims to manufacture a fleet of at least a thousand reusable Starships over the next 10 years, each capable of launching at least 100 tons of cargo and or 100 passengers to space destinations, including the Moon and Mars. On November 8th, Musk said that SpaceX's Starship fleet is designed to achieve over 1,000 times more payload to orbit than all other rockets on Earth combined. But almost no one understands the future Starship launch system's payload capabilities. SpaceX is now aggressively preparing for the first orbital flight of Starship. With thousands of tons of rocket propellant delivered to SpaceX's South Texas rocket testing facilities, the company's long-awaited orbital test launch of its Starship spacecraft is not far away. Besides a flurry of tests with SN20 and B4 that will be conducted shortly, SN21, 22, and BN5 are still being assembled extremely quickly, and at this rate, maybe Elon Musk could actually send 1 million people to Mars by 2050. And that's all the information we have for you today. If you enjoy what my team and I are doing and would like to continue supporting us in a huge way, you can become a patron through our Patreon link in the description below. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button and turn on the bell to make sure you won't miss any new episodes of Great SpaceX. 
Also, if you enjoyed our episode today, please give it a thumbs up. We'll be so glad to receive your contributed support. Because, let's face it, everyone's support is the motivation for us to create more quality content. Alrighty then. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and I'll see you next time.